All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, in less than 12 hours from now, Global will be getting five new Extreme Z Awakenings for the Int Vegito, the Tech Vegito, the Tech Super Boo, the STR Goku, and also the Int Vegeta. So, in this video, I just wanted to quickly fill you guys in on exactly what these guys do after their EZAs, so you're fully prepared for them okay now real quick before we get into it i want to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video which is gamer subs if you guys are interested in getting a waifu shaker like this one or trying one of their delicious supplements now what i have in here is actually a unreleased flavor and i can't tell you guys what it is but i will say it is probably my favorite flavor they've come out with so far and i've tried all of them so uh, yeah, it's really good, keep an eye out for it, and they're also coming out with two new waifu shakers later this month. So if you guys are, you know, interested in getting any of that stuff, then make sure to head down to the link in my description. And as always, you can use my discount code TIGER for 10% off your entire purchase. Once again, that's GamerSupps and code TIGER for 10% off. Okay, so with that said, why don't we jump right into it here, starting with the Int Vegito. And before the EZA, his leader skill was all types, HP and attack plus 30%, super attack supreme damage, allies attack plus 25% for one turn, and passive attack plus 12% for every key sphere obtained. Obviously, no defense whatsoever, right? Now with the Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill will become all types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 80%, super attack supreme damage, and raises allies attack and defense by 30% for one turn, and passive is attack and defense plus 150% plus an additional attack plus 20% per key sphere obtained, chance of performing a critical hit plus 5% with each attack performed up to 30%, all allies key plus 3, launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack. And his stats also get a pretty significant boost, so before they were 14,266 HP, 13,019 attack, and 10,010 defense at rainbow status. After the EZA, the stats become 17,448 HP, 15,719 attack, and 11,791 defense. So overall, just a much better unit both offensively and defensively, and with some uh, nice support abilities as well okay so that's the int vegito now moving on to the tech vegito before the eza leader skill all types hp and attack plus 30 percent super attack supreme damage attack plus 25 percent for allies for one turn and passive attack and defense plus 30 percent for all allies now with the eza leader skill is all types key plus three hp attack and defense plus 80 percent super attack supreme damage and raises all allies attack and defense by 30 percent for one turn so the same as the Int Vegito so far. Now passive is attack and defense plus 150% plus an additional defense plus 15% per key sphere obtained, chance of evading enemies attacks including super attacks plus 5% with each attack received up to 30% and all allies attack and defense plus 30% launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack. So still quite similar to the Int Vegito except this guy is more geared towards defense as opposed to the Int Vegito which is more focused on offense and this guy of course is a better support as well. And uh, as far as the stats go, after the EZ8 at rainbow status, you'll have 17,245 HP, 15,989 attack and 11,399 defense. So that is the Tech Vegito, moving on to the Tech Super Boo. Pre-EZA leader skill, tech types, key plus 3, uh, attack and defense plus 50%, super attack supreme damage with a rare chance to stun the enemy, and passive is recovers 30% of damage dealt as health. Now with the EZA, leader skill, tech types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%, super attack, raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage with a medium chance to stun the enemy, and passive is defense plus 130%, at the start of turn, chance, medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, medium chance to perform a critical hit, 
and then recovers 30% of HP, or rather 30% of damage um, dealt as HP. So uh, my main issue with this EZ8, honestly, is that they didn't really give him more attack. I mean, he does raise attack on a super attack now, which is nice, and he's much better defensively than he was before, right? But um, it would have been nice for him to get like some sort of an attack buff, but I guess what they were thinking is he's recovering so much HP from the damage dealt that we can't have him do too much damage, right? So um, it kind of makes sense, but I would have liked him to do a bit more damage after the EZA, honestly. Uh, stats wise, you know, obviously a big improvement, 16,724 HP, 16,707 attack, and 10,954 defense post the EZA at rainbow status, of course. Now, uh, let's jump over to the SDR Goku here before the EZA. Leader skill is AGL and SDR types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 30%, uh, super attack, supreme damage, and attack plus 20% for all allies for one turn. And passive is attack plus 20% per STR key sphere obtained and recovers HP with candy. Now with the EZA, new leader skill is AGL and STR types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, uh, super attack supreme damage, and attack plus 30% for all allies for 2 turns. And then passive is attack and defense plus 120%, attack plus 30%, and defense plus 20%. Her key sphere obtained. That's pretty crazy. And then chance to perform a critical hit plus 10% up to 30% at the start of each turn. Changes Fizz key spheres to STR key spheres when there is an ally whose name includes Vegeta, Youth, Junior, etc. Excluded, attacking in the same turn, recovers HP with candy. So not only is he a pretty crazy nuker, He's also an orb changer, which means that he's able to give himself a lot of orbs, so on average, he should be getting a decent amount of orbs every single turn if you have the Vegeta um, attacking with him, right? And uh, stats, we have 19,398 HP, 15,848 attack, and 10,491 defense at rainbow status post EZA. So that's the Goku. And then for the Vegeta, kind of similar. Uh, before the EZA, Int and Fizz types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 30% is the leader skill, super attack supreme damage, raises attack for 3 turns, and passive is attack plus 20% per Int key sphere obtained, recovers HP with candy. After the EZA, Int and Fizz types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, supreme damage, and raises attack and defense for 3 turns, and passive is attack and defense plus 120%, Attack plus 30% and defense plus 20% per key sphere obtained. Chance to evade enemies' attacks plus 10% up to 30% at the start of each turn. Changes tech key spheres to int key spheres when there's an ally whose name includes Goku, Youth, Captain Ginyu, Junior, etc. excluded, attacking on the same turn and recovers HP with candy. So, uh, a good rotation would be actually this guy plus the Goku together since they can activate each other's uh, full passives, the orb changing aspect, right? But of course, you can also run them with any other Goku or Vegeta in the game, uh, with the exception of the ones that don't count, of course. And uh, for the Vegeta, after the EZA, he will have up to 16,492 HP, 16,661 attack, and 10,828 defense at rainbow status. So, uh, there you go guys, that does it for the 5 upcoming Extreme Z Awakenings, they all look really good, these two are exceptional nukers, the uh, Vegitos are also very very impressive, um, this one offensively is going to be putting up some big numbers, this dude's going to be putting up some big numbers defensively but also doing some good damage, and also providing some very good support, and uh, this guy is, I mean from my perspective he's definitely going to be useful on events where you need more sustaining power, right? You need more healing or just the ability to stay alive. But um, he's probably the least exciting out of the five just because he's not really going to be putting up big numbers, but he will be one of the better healers in the game for sure. So not a bad EZA by any means. I just feel like he should have received 
some kind of attack buff, you know, but it's fine. Not a huge deal. So uh, yeah, there you go. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these five EZAs are you the most excited for? Do you think is the best? And uh, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, make sure to go check out Gamersups in my description and use my code TIGER for 10% off everything. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.